It's the perfect advanced but not yet pro-consumer level machine for any beginner to intermediate espresso level. Perfection. When I first began my search for an at-home espresso machine, I knew the one I wanted was the Breville Barista Express. When I think of the Breville Barista Express, I see the Gateway Espresso Machine. I have officially had my Breville Barista Express that you see right there behind me for a year, which is crazy. The year has flown by. I have made a ton of coffee on it, espressos, lattes, cappuccinos, everything you can imagine. I have worked this bad boy pretty good over the last year. So I want to do an update review on what my thoughts are on the Breville Barista Express. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a workflow over how I make a latte with the machine. And I'm going to share everything I like, everything I don't like, and if I'm still overly satisfied with the machine, and if I would recommend the Breville Barista Express for at-home espresso. This machine, when dialed in and paired with the right accessories, will brew you some really, really good espresso fairly easily. You don't have to struggle with advanced settings, temperature, or weird knobs. It's a very simple machine that I believe allows anyone to start brewing espresso regardless of their experience. And that is amazing. We need more really good quality machines that let anybody start brewing espresso. I figured that this machine would solve all of my problems and take my espresso game to the next level. And to be honest, it has checked almost all the boxes over the past year. There's a lot to love about this machine. It is well built, it looks great in your kitchen, has a built-in grinder, which I believe is a game changer because it saves you both money and space, has an easily refillable water tank, both a steam wand and a separate hot water pipe. This machine has been an incredible treat for me to use over the past year, and I highly, highly recommend it. It has brewed me some great coffee and allowed me to entertain, making several drinks for friends and families, and the quality you get at this price point is unbeatable. When it comes to making espresso with this machine, it's as easy as pushing a button, which is great. You don't need any advanced knowledge, you can watch a few videos online, but within minutes you will be up and running. But it also offers you some manual options so you can dial in and override the preset settings, which is even better if you want to take your espresso game to the next level and dive a little bit deeper. I've only recently started messing around with the manual settings, but I've really enjoyed being able to customize the shot length and just really focus on my puck prep and the quality of shot I'm getting. Now, of course, just like with any other machine, there are some cons that you need to be mindful of. The first one is the built-in grinder. While it's extremely convenient, it's not the best grinder in the world, and I highly recommend picking up an external grinder to pair with it at some point. Like I said, I've had this machine for about a year. I'm still using the built-in grinder, but at this point in time, I would like to upgrade to something else if I do end up staying with this machine. The grinder is right by the components that heat up inside, and that often causes your beans to heat up as well, which will affect your grind size. You don't get the best consistency, it can be a little bit messy, and there can be lots of clumps in your espresso, so it's very, very important to have a WDT tool, and I also recommend a collar that goes over top of your portafilter. Next up on the negatives is the steam wand. I don't think it's the greatest at steaming milk. It is very, very slow at steaming, and it takes quite a few minutes for it to turn on and warm up because this is a single boiler machine, but you should know that it's a single boiler machine and the steam wand is gonna take a little bit of time just based on what the machine is. The machine is also rather loud when you first turn it on, which could be a con or not a problem. Hasn't really mattered for me, but if you're in a dorm room or a small condo, you do need to be mindful of that. When you first turn it on, it rumbles very loudly as it does after you steam your milk as well. So I'm not really sure if this is a con or not. Be mindful that this machine does not come with the standard 58 millimeter portafilter. It instead has a 54 millimeter portafilter. So be mindful when you're purchasing your accessories and your tampers of what is gonna fit in this machine. Absolute perfection. Overall, for the past year, this machine has been a treat to have on my espresso bar and has allowed me to brew some very good quality espresso and lattes at home. Like I mentioned earlier, the Breville Barista Express is a great gateway machine into home espresso. It will satisfy your needs, but only for so long. At some point, you're likely going to want to upgrade to something more powerful. For some, this machine will be the only espresso machine they need in their kitchen, and that is perfectly fine. But for those who want to dive deeper into the world, this is just the starting point. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and took some takeaways from my one year of experience with the Breville Barista Express. Hopefully it helps you make a decision on what machine you want to get. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the Breville Barista Express or your at-home espresso machine. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the coffee family. Thank you guys for being here. My name is Caitlin. I'm a coffee roaster from Toronto, Canada. I just want to make specialty coffee fun and approachable. Check out my coffee linked in the description down below. Remember, drink better coffee and support a local independent roaster. Cheers.